an internationalized domain name is an Internet domain name that contains at least one label that is displayed in software applications, in whole or in part, in a language-specific script or alphabet, such as Arabic, Chinese, Cyrillic, Tamil, Hebrew or the Latin alphabet-based characters with diacritics, such as French. These writing systems are encoded by computers in multi-byte Unicode. Internationalized domain names are stored in the domain name system as ASCII strings using Punicode transcription. The domain name system, which performs a lookup service to translate user-friendly names into network addresses for locating Internet resources, is restricted in practice to the use of ASCII characters, a practical limitation that initially set the standard for acceptable domain names. The internationalization of domain names is a technical solution to translate names written in language native scripts into an ASCII text representation that is compatible with the domain name system. Internationalized domain names can only be used with applications that are specifically designed for such use. They require no changes in the infrastructure of the Internet. IDN was originally proposed in December 1996 by Martin Da One Quarter RST and implemented in 1998 by Tam Jai Kwang and Leong Kok Yong under the guidance of Tan Tin Hui. After much debate and many competing proposals, a system called Internationalizing Domain Names in Applications was adopted as a standard, and has been implemented in several top-level domains. In IDNA, the term internationalized domain name means specifically any domain name consisting only of labels to which the IDNA to ASCII algorithm can be successfully applied. In March 2008, the IETF formed a new IDN working group to update the current IDNA protocol. In October 2009, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers approved the creation of internationalized country code top-level domains in the Internet that use the IDNA standard for native language scripts. In May 2010 the first IDN CCTLD were installed in the DNS root zone. Internationalizing Domain Names in Applications Internationalizing domain names in applications is a mechanism defined in 2003 for handling internationalized domain names containing non-ASCII characters. These names either are Latin letters with diacritics or are written in languages or scripts which do not use the Latin alphabet, Arabic, Hangul, Hiragana and Kanji for instance. Although the domain name system supports non-ASCII characters, Applications such as email and web browsers restrict the characters which can be used as domain names for purposes such as a host name. Strictly speaking it is the network protocols these applications use that have restrictions on the characters which can be used in domain names, not the applications that have these limitations or the DNS itself. To retain backwards compatibility with the installed base the IETF IDNA Working Group decided that internationalized domain names should be converted to a suitable ASCII-based form that could be handled by web browsers and other user applications. IDNA specifies how this conversion between names written in non-ASCII characters and their ASCII-based representation is performed. An IDNA-enabled application is able to convert between the internationalized and ASCII representations of a domain name. It uses the ASCII form for DNS lookups but can present the internationalized form to users who presumably prefer to read and write domain names in non-ASCII scripts such as Arabic or Hiragana. Applications that do not support IDNA will not be able to handle domain names with non-ASCII characters but will still be able to access such domains if given the ASCII equivalent. ICANN issued guidelines for the use of IDNA in June 2003, and it was already possible to register JP domains using this system in July 2003 and Info domains in March 2004. Several other top-level domain registries started accepting registrations in 2004 and 2005. IDN guidelines were first created in June 2003, and have been updated to respond to phishing concerns in November 2005. An ICANN working group focused on country code domain names at the top level was formed in November 2007 and promoted jointly by the Country Code Supporting Organization and the Governmental Advisory Committee. Mozilla 1.4, Netscape 7.1, Opera 7.11 were among the first applications to support IDNA. A browser plugin is available for Internet Explorer 6 to provide IDN support. 
Internet Explorer 7.0 and Windows Vista's URL APIs provide native support for IDN. Equals to ASCII and to Unicode equals, the conversions between ASCII and non-ASCII forms of a domain name are accomplished by algorithms called to ASCII and to Unicode. These algorithms are not applied to the domain name as a whole, but rather to individual labels. For example, if the domain name is www.example.com, then the labels are www, example, and com. To ASCII or to Unicode are applied to each of these three separately. The details of these two algorithms are complex, and are specified in RFC 3490. The following gives an overview of their function. To ASCII leaves unchanged any ASCII label, but will fail if the label is unsuitable for the domain name system. If given a label containing at least one non-ASCII character, to ASCII will apply the name prep algorithm, which converts the label to lowercase and performs other normalization, and will then translate the result to ASCII using Punicode before prepending the four-character string XN. This four-character string is called the ASCII-compatible encoding prefix and is used to distinguish Punicode encoded labels from ordinary ASCII labels. The to ASCII algorithm can fail in several ways. For example, the final string could exceed the 63 character limit of a DNS name. A label for which to ASCII fails cannot be used in an internationalized domain name. The function to Unicode reverses the action of to ASCII, stripping off the ACE prefix and applying the Punicode decode algorithm. It does not reverse the name prep processing, since it is merely a normalization and is by nature irreversible. Unlike to ASCII, to Unicode always succeeds, because it simply returns the original string if decoding fails. In particular, this means that to Unicode has no effect on a string that does not begin with the ACE prefix. Equals example of IDNA encoding equals IDNA encoding may be illustrated using the example domain bar one quarter share ch. A euro oe bar one quarter share a euro is German for euro oe books a euro, and ch is the cctld of Switzerland. This domain name has two labels, bar one quarter share and ch. The second label is pure ASCII, and is left unchanged. The first label is processed by namebrook to give bar one quarter share and then converted to Punicode to result in bche var. It is then prefixed with xn, to produce xn, bche var. The resulting label suitable for use in the DNS is therefore xn, bche var ch. Top-level domain implementation, in 2009, ICANN decided to implement a new class of top-level domains, assignable to countries and independent regions, similar to the rules for country code top-level domains. However, the domain names may be any desirable string of characters, symbols, or glyphs in the language-specific, non-Latin alphabet or script of the applicant's language, within certain guidelines to assure sufficient visual uniqueness. The process of installing IDN country code domains began with a long period of testing in a set of subdomains in the test top-level domain. Eleven domains used language native scripts or alphabets, such as IIII to the first I one quarter I registered trademark, meaning test in Greek. These efforts culminated in the creation of the first internationalized country code top level domains for production use in 2010. In the domain name system, these domains use an ASCII representation consisting of the prefix XN, followed by the Punicode translation of the Unicode representation of the language-specific alphabet or script glyphs. For example, the Cyrillic name of Russia's IDN CCTLD is N Euro N. In Punicode representation, this is P1I, and its DNS name is XN, P1I. Non-IDNA or non-ICANN registries that support non-ASCII domain names, there are other registries that support non-ASCII domain names. The company TIURL.com in Thailand supports COM registrations via its own IDN encoding, TIURL. However, since most modern browsers only recognize IDNA Punicode IDNs, TIURL encoded domains must be typed in or linked to in their encoded form, and they will be displayed thus in the address bar. This limits their usefulness. However, they are still valid and universally accessible domains. 
ASCII spoofing concerns. The use of Unicode in domain names makes it potentially easier to spoof websites as the visual representation of an ID and string in a web browser may make a spoof site appear indistinguishable to the legitimate site being spoofed, depending on the font used. For example, Unicode character U plus 0430, Cyrillic small letter A, can look identical to Unicode character U plus 0061, Latin small letter A, used in English. As a concrete example, using Cyrillic letters th degree, th micron, Belarusian Ukrainian n, n euro, we form the URL WNKNN euro th micron dn th degree org, which is virtually indistinguishable from the visual representation of the legitimate wikipedia.org. Top-level domains accepting IDN registration, many top-level domains have started to accept internationalized domain name registrations at the second or lower levels. .Asia, the registrar for the TLD Asia, conducted a 70-day sunrise period starting May 11, 2011 for second-level domain registrations in the Chinese, Japanese and Korean scripts. Timeline, 1996-12 Martin Dar won quarter RST's original Internet draft proposing UTF-5, a Euro UTF-5 was first defined by Martin Dar won quarter RST at the University of Tsar one quarter rich, 1998-03, early research on IDN at National University of Singapore, Center for Internet Research led by Professor Tan Tin Wee and subsequently continued under a team at Bioinformatics PTE Limited. A Euro and NUS spin off company led by Professor S. Subia, 1998 07, Geneva INET 98 conference with a BOF discussion on IDNS and APNG general meeting and working group meeting. 1998 07, Asia Pacific Networking Group IDNS working group formed. 1998 10, James Seng, a former student of Tan Tin Ri at Cheers Hall, NUS and student researcher at Technet and IRDU, Computer Center, NUS, was recruited by CEO S. Ubia to lead further IDN development at Bix PTE Limited, 1999-02, IDNS testbed launched by Bix PTE Limited under the auspices of APNG with participation from CNNIC, JPNIC, KRNIC, TWNIC, THNIC, HKNIC and SGNIC led by James Seng, 1999-02, presentation of report on IDN at joint APNG-APTLD meeting, at Apricot 99, 1999-03, endorsement of the IDN report at APNG general meeting March 1, 1999. 1999-06, grant application by APNG jointly with the Center for Internet Research, National University of Singapore, to the International Development Research Centre, a Canadian government-funded international organisation to work on IDN for IPv6. This APNG project was funded under the Pan-Asia R&D grant administered on behalf of IDRC by the Canadian Committee on Occupational Health and Safety. Principal Investigator, Tan Tin Wee of National University of Singapore. 1999-07 Tout Walid R filed IDNA patent application number US 19990003580043 method and system for internationalizing domain names. Published January 30, 2001, 1999-07. Internet draft on UTF-5 by James Seng, Martin Dar one quarter RST and Tan Tin Wee. Renewed 2000. 1999-08. APTLD and APNG forms a working group to look into IDN issues chaired by Kilnam Khan, 1999-10, Bix PTE Limited and National University of Singapore together with New York Venture Capital Investors, General Atlantic Partners, spun off the IDN effort into two new Singapore companies a Euro I-DNS.net International Incorporated and I-EMAIL.net PTE Limited. That created the first commercial implementation of an IDN solution for both domain names and IDN email addresses respectively. 1999-11, IETF IDN Birds of Feather in Washington was initiated by i-DNS.net at the request of IETF officials. 1999-12, 
IDNS.NET International PTE. Limited launched the first commercial IDN. It was in Taiwan and in Chinese characters under the top level IDN TLD Gongsi with endorsement by the Minister of Communications of Taiwan and some major Taiwanese ISPs with reports of over 200 000 names sold in a week in Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, China, Australia, and USA. Late 1999, Kilnam Con initiates Task Force on IDNS which led to formation of MINC, the Multilingual Internet Names Consortium, 2000-01, IETF IDN Working Group formed chaired by James Seng and Mark Blanquet, 2000-01, the second ever commercial IDN launch was IDN TLDs in the Tamil language, corresponding to com, .net, org, and edu. These were launched in India with IT Ministry support by i-dns.net International, 2000-02, Multilingual Internet Names Consortium, MINC, Proposal BO Effort IETF Adelaide. 2000-03, Apricot 2000 Multilingual DNS Session. 2000-04, Walid Incorporated started registration and resolving multilingual domain names. 2000-05, Interoperability Testing WG, MINC Meeting. San Francisco, chaired by Bill Manning and Wyonia May 12, 2000. 2000-06, inaugural launch of the Multilingual Internet Names Consortium in Seoul to drive the collaborative rollout of IDN starting from the Asia-Pacific. 2000-07, Joint Engineering Task Force initiated in Yokohama to study technical issues led by PNICAN TWNIC. 2000-07, official formation of CDNC Chinese Domain Name Consortium to resolve issues related to interdeploy Han character domain names, founded by CNNIC, TWNIC, HKNIC and Monik in May 2000. 2001-03, ICANN Board IDN Working Group formed, 2001-07, Japanese Domain Name Association, JDNA launch ceremony in Tokyo, Japan. 2001-07, Urdu Internet Name System in Islamabad, Pakistan, organized jointly by SDNP and MINC. 2001-07, presentation on IDN to the committee meeting of the Computer Science and Telecommunications Board, National Academies USA at University of California School of Information Management and Systems, Berkeley, California. 2001-08, MINC presentation and outreach at the Asia-Pacific Advanced Network Annual Conference, Penang, Malaysia August 20, 2001, 2001-10, joint MINC-CDNC meeting in Beijing 18 Euro October 20, 2001, 2001-11, ICANN-IDN committee formed, 2001-12. Joint ITUWIPO Symposium on Multilingual Domain. Names organized in association with MINC, 6 Euro December 7, 2001, International Conference Center, Geneva. 2003 01, Free Implementation of String Prep, Puny Code, and IDNA Release in GNU Libidin. 2003 03, Publication of RFC 3454, RFC 3490, RFC 3491 and RFC 3492, 2003-06, Publication of ICANN IDN Guidelines for Registries Adopted by CN, Info, JP, Org, and TW Registries. 2004-05, Publication of RFC 3743, Joint Engineering Team Guidelines for Internationalized Domain Names Registration and Administration for Chinese, Japanese. And Korean, 2005 March, first study group 17 of ITUT meeting on internationalized domain names. 2005 05, in CCTLD creates expert IDN working group to create solutions for 22 official languages. 2006 04, ITU study group 17 meeting in Korea gave final approval to the question on internationalized domain names. 2006 06, Workshop on IDN at ICANN meeting at Marrakech, Morocco, 2006-11, ICANN GNSO IDN Working Group created to discuss policy implications of IDN TLDs. 
Ram Mohan elected chair of the IDN Working Group. 2006-12, ICANN meeting at Sao Paulo Paulo discusses status of lab tests of IDNs within the route. 2007-01, Tamil and Malayalam variant table work completed by India's CDAC and affiliates. 2007-03, ICANN GNSOIDN Working Group completes work, Ram Mohan presence report at ICANN LISPO meeting. 2007-10, 11 IDNA top-level domains were added to the root name servers in order to evaluate the use of IDNA at the top level of the DNS. 2008-01, ICANN successful evaluations of test IDN TLDs, 2008-04, IETF Idnabis WG chaired by Vince Cerf continues the work to update IDNA, 2008-06. ICANN board votes to develop final fast track implementation proposal for a limited number of IDN CCTLDS. 2008 10 ICANN seeks interest in IDN CCTLD fast track process. 2009 09 ICANN puts IDN CCTLD proposal on agenda for sole meeting in October 2009. 2009 10 ICANN approves the registration of IDN names in the route of the DNS through the IDN CCTLD fast track process at its meeting in Seoul, October 26, Euro 30, 2009. 2010-01, ICANN announces that Egypt, the Russian Federation, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates were the first countries to have passed the fast track string evaluation within the IDN CCTLD domain application process. 2010 05 The first implementations go live. They are the CCTLDS in the Arabic alphabet for Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. 2010 08 the IETF publishes the updated IDNA 2008 specifications as RFC 5890-5894. See also, Internationalized Resource Identifier, Internationalized Country Code Top Level Domain. References External links, RFC 3454 Preparation of Internationalized Strings, RFC 5890 Internationalized Domain Names for Applications, Definitions and Document Framework, RFC 5891 Internationalized Domain Names in Applications, Protocol, RFC 5892 The Unicode Code Points and Internationalized Domain Names for Applications, RFC 5893 Right-to-Left Scripts for Internationalized Domain Names for Applications, ICANN Internationalized Domain Names. IDN Language Table Registry, Unicode Technical Report No. 36, Security considerations for the implementation of Unicode and related technology.